If you are all thumbs when it comes to tying knots, keep watching as we show you how to easily master five common boating knots. The knots we are going to show you are a figure eight knot, a half hitch, a double half hitch, a cleat hitch, and a square knot. So let's start with a figure eight knot. Figure eight knots are also called stopper knots because they stop ropes from coming out of holes like what you see here. Before beginning, pass the rope through the hole. Next, lay the rope over itself so it makes a letter P. Then wrap it around the leg of the letter P. Pass it back through the head of the P so it looks like a figure eight. Pull it tight and you're done. Now give the rope a tug. See how it stops the rope from coming out of the hole? Now let's try the half hitch. You use a half hitch to tie ropes to posts or railings like what you see here. There are two steps to tying a half hitch. Pass the rope around the railing and back across itself so it makes a loop. Then just pass the rope's end through the loop and pull it tight. You have just completed a half hitch. For a double half hitch, simply repeat the last step of the half hitch, being careful to wrap the rope around the same side that you did before like this. Now just like before, pass it through the loop like this and snug it up. Congratulations! You have just changed your half hitch into a double half hitch. Next is a cleat hitch. A cleat hitch is used to attach a rope to a cleat like what you see here. There are three steps to the cleat hitch. First, wrap the rope around the base of the cleat once. Next, cross it over the top twice so it goes from one side to the next, making a figure eight on the top of the cleat. To finish, make a loop, rotate it upside down, then slide it over one end of the cleat and pull it tight. Now let's learn the square knot. It ties two ropes together. There are four steps to tying this knot. First, cross the rope on the right over the one on the left. Tuck it under and bring both ends up. Second, cross the rope on the left over the one on the right. Then tuck it under and bring both ends up. Pull it tight and you're done. Congratulations, you just learned five basic boating knots.